Hello friends, happy Monday. I did just send out a text uh, to let everybody know that I'm going live. So if you're on the text list, you should have received that. If you're not on the text list, you can text the word join to 1-844-989-4545. And then I will send you a text before I go live every Monday. Um, all right, so this is a brand new kit. I'm gonna tip you guys down. We're gonna go ahead and jump right in here today. It's a brand new kit. It comes in all different pieces because we're gonna have to put it together. It makes shipping easier. Um, it's for people that have the smaller, like Glowforge size lasers to cut easier. So I do have a bigger laser. I could cut it on my other machine, but the, the file is made for that. So this is what it looks like when you get it or once it's put together, it's going to look like this. Okay. But each, see what I'm saying? Each piece is separate. So I'm going to go ahead now and take all these pieces off of here. I just wanted to show you what it looked like before we start. And then I'm going to show you how to put it together and I'm going to actually assemble it before I paint it. And not only does it come looking like this, but you also get, it's interchangeable. There's seven, seven ugh, different interchangeable um, pieces with her. So she can be holding a cup of coffee. Uh, she's got a sign that says, hello. Whoops, sorry friends. She's got a cute little rainbow sign here. Hi Vicky, hello Julie. She's got a cup of lemonade or a pitcher of lemonade, some tulips or a heart. So all, all of these pieces, all these interchangeable pieces come in the kit. Um, and I was gonna double check, I think it's listed for 45 on the website. I just listed it, I should remember. Hey Tammy. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna flip this over, got it lined up how it needs to be. And I'm gonna just put it back together, make sure that all my pieces line up. So this is how you assemble it. You've got this circle piece that's gonna come in your box. That's gonna go in the middle right here to hold this together. And then you've got these two big like arrows. They look like arrows. See, it's got like little arrows on the ends. You're gonna stick those together like so. And that's going to be what holds your um, background together. So we're gonna start with that. Gotta get my glue out. And just so you guys know, I did finally get my Amazon links back up on my website. So that's available to you guys. The glue's on there. I've got my um, my sponges that I use. Everybody's always asking about the sponges. I've got them listed back on there. Took me a while to figure it out on this new website platform, but I do finally have it there for you guys. So if you're looking for something that I use, it's probably listed there. And just like I said, I'm gonna just be gentle, make sure that my pieces stay together how I want them to. And then we're gonna let the glue dry for a second. We'll chit chat for a minute because we wanna make sure that this is all together before we flip it over and start painting. But it would've been too hard to paint it without it being put together, I think, so. And then this way too, if someone's bought the kit and they're just trying to put it together, this is at the very beginning part for somebody to watch on the replay. So there you have it. It's a 15 inch round. Let me pull it up on my computer real quick and I'll let you know for sure what the pricing is on it. And I should be able to also put the link in the comments for you guys if you're interested in it. Yes, $45 for this kit. Comes with the seven different interchangeable pieces. And let me see if I can grab the link and drop that in the comments for you. Let's see, I thought I had myself pulled up here on Facebook. There we go. Wait a minute, am I live in the wrong spot? I'm not live in the wrong spot, am I? I'm on my business page. There we are, yes. All right, let me put this in the comments. And I think I can pin it too. Nope, it's not letting me pin the comment. Hmm. Okay, well, it is there for you guys in the comments. And then I'll also list it in the top in the description um, when I get off the live. So let's give this just a second to dry. Actually, I wonder, I should probably not move it at all. I'm gonna say I can move it out of the way and we can paint something, but I don't wanna mess that up. Let me see if it'll let me link this here. 
It's supposed to let me pin it. Oh, here we go. Pin comment. There we go. So it's pinned now right there in the um, comments for you, the link to get this kit if you're interested. I'm going to actually move my folder out of the way here and see if I can just slide it over without messing it up so that we can paint something while we wait. Usually we start with our background, but we can... Perfect, there we go, we'll let that dry. So let's go ahead and we'll work on our little gnome lady here. Ooh, something just flew up and hit me in the face. All right, so you've got your, she comes with, you know, a bunch of flowers and like I said, a lot of these pieces are not connected. They are all separate pieces, this kit. So you might be a little confused. So I definitely wanted to do this one live, at least part of it. We're probably not gonna do all seven pieces, but once we get the, the basic done, you guys would be able to figure the rest out. So there we go. We've got her hat, her little body. We've got her hair pieces. She's got the little bows. So it looks like she's got little braids in her hair, um, her nose, and then she's got little feet. So here we go. That's what our little girl's gonna look like. Let me... I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of using the um, artist, the designer's file as a cheat sheet reference tonight on the colors. Cause I'm, I wasn't sure what I wanted to paint her, but I do like the way they did there. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab out some Atlantis, which is like a turquoise blue. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I'm gonna get me a lime green out. And we've got some, where did my white go? Oh, here it is, some white out and then some black. And we're just gonna start with these colors for now. Let's see if I can find my black, here we go. All right. And then my sponges. All right, so I'm gonna do Probably, I'm doing gnome the same colors that the uh, designer did, but she did different. She's got like designs on hers and I'm not gonna do all of that fanciness, but I am gonna use her colors for the gnome at least. And then I'll do my own thing for the pieces, but her little gnome lady looks cute. So we're gonna go ahead and do blue for the hat. She's gonna have a lime green dress. This is just our first coat. We're definitely gonna do a second coat of this color. I feel like it looks best with a second coat. Move her hair. Her little bows are the same color too. So let's go ahead and get a first coat of the bow done. that out of the way and then we're gonna do her little dress in the lime green I like these two colors together they're pretty I saw it on here and I was like you know what I don't know what I want to paint my gnome so we're just gonna copy kind of what they did Anybody else doing any painting tonight? You guys are quiet. I don't have any comments popping up at least. Maybe maybe Facebook just isn't working for me, but. So there we go, there's our start. So blue and green is our little background. Hello, Pamela. Um, and then I'm gonna do white for her hair and black for her shoes. Where'd her other shoe go? Oh, here it is. So I'm gonna move these. We're just gonna kind of keep moving along and then we'll go back through and do our second coats on everything.
last night buddy and I played um, Othello if has anybody played that game well, I love that game and I had been dying to play it with him for a while and he finally played with me last night and I kick his butt at that game all the time and guess what he won last night I did not but we're gonna play a game again tonight when I'm done with this live we're gonna play block us have you guys played that game that one's a fun one it's for four players we always play two people each um, to take up the whole board and make it harder so, so we play the pieces of two people I guess I should say if that makes sense all right and then I'm just gonna give her some white hair I may come back through and add some gray in here later or some color I was thinking gray but I'm just gonna start with white for now I do have another kit coming soon I didn't get to it today I was cutting orders today and then I got this one done and did a bunch of website stuff my credit card got hacked so I was dealing with all of that today but um, Tomorrow I have my nephew, so probably Wednesday I'll get the other kits cut. But I will tell you what it is that's coming. It is a 30 inch, I believe, tall gnome. I have a lady and a guy. The lady's gonna be the first one that I release and then we'll get to the guy eventually. Um, but they're gonna have interchangeable pieces. So it's gonna be like a sitter that you could sit out in your entryway um, or on your covered porch or something like that. And they're super cute. I cannot wait to get them on the website. I was hoping to do that. That was what I was going to paint tonight, but I didn't get to it. So we're doing this one. that second coat just went through you did too oh, I had a couple of years back where I had it happen all the time for some reason and I hadn't had it in a while so I've been lucky but it is it's a pain in the butt so you have to go back through and change everything and you don't have access to your stuff while well, it's in dispute and all that so no fun hi Trisha how are you second coat on our green Luckily, I caught it before they did too much. They had ran one charge that I didn't see previously. You know, they usually get your card and they run it for a couple dollars to kind of test it. And they did that, and then they ran a charge over the weekend for 50 bucks. And what made me see it, I mean, I would have found it. I check my account, like, once a week. And then I recheck it every month, like, go over it a little bit better. But um, what made me really catch it was the international transaction fee, because I, I knew I didn't buy anything overseas so I was wondering why I had that fee so when I went back in there and was looking I'm like oh hmm, I wonder what this company is nothing that I had purchased that's for sure sponge is kind of falling apart on me all right so there we go we can probably I can probably do a third coat even on her dress maybe maybe not though because she's gonna have all the pieces so she'll probably be fine She's gonna have her hair on here and all the other stuff. So I'm going to just move this up. There's gonna be her little feet. And then her hair, we're gonna do a second coat on. Painting on the towel still it keeps my table clean but also have something to like offload onto and all of that but it's just been laziness lately that I haven't pulled out a towel to paint on 
Hello, Pam. Hi, Karen. All right. So let me, I got my hands covered already and they're kind of, they're kind of, um, drying right now. I'm going to grab a light pink. I'm going to do pink parfait, I think, for her skin tone. So her little nose. Um, so I need a new sponge. I'm going to do this and then we'll see if it's dry yet where we can flip over our board and get her glued down and then we can start moving on to our next parts. Like I said, I'm not going to do the entire seven pieces tonight. You guys can use your imagination and do whatever on the other ones. And as I finish, I'll post pictures of the other kits. But I mainly wanted to come on here to show you how to assemble the round since it's going to come to you in a bunch of pieces. All right, so there's going to be a little nose. Did I put her hair on here right, I think. And her hair. And our little bows. So there's our gnome. Let me take a look at our sign real quick and see how we're doing with that, with the drying. Perfect, I think we're good. So there we go. Now we've got it all together. There's the back side. Here's the front side. So I'm gonna go ahead, and I can't glue her on there. What was I thinking? We still have to paint that piece. So let's do that next. I'm gonna move her out of the way. just want it to be white. I like the white background because I feel like you can put any, um, sorry, Preston's out in the other room making noise. I feel like you can put any, um, anything you want with a white background. Do I want to use this paint? I'm not going to do the whole thing all at once because I don't know if it's going to dry too fast on me. We're gonna just go one section at a time, I think. And even though it's gonna be kind of see-through, like I usually do a second coat, that's what I mean by that, um, I think I'm gonna leave it like that this time to kind of make it look a little bit more aged instead of brand new. I'm gonna go back through here and clean up these brush strokes. They're not brush strokes, sponge strokes in a second though. So that they're not short, I want them to go the distance of the board, but I'm trying to pull off as much paint as I can to bring down here. So you guys missed it the other day. I did this trick, was it live with you guys the other day or did I do this last night? I think I did this trick last night with my Paint Club Girls. So this is something that I learned with Tamara Bennett using the big sponge. I learned this doing a paint project with her last week. So it's just a big sponge that I took and cut down and it just makes your background so much quicker. Look at that. Switch a little bit more paint on here. Whoops, I scratched it. I didn't let it dry before I ran my piece through there. Oh, I do feel like my edges get dirty, more dirty, more paint covered. They're not dirty, but they get painted. They're not as clean. They're a little bit more sloppy doing it this way. But I don't mind what my edges look like for the most part. So I'm going to use this method. Okay. So there we go, we got our background. The edges are very covered. Hello, Nancy, how are you? When you're done, you do wanna wash your sponge. This sponge I've been washing because this is gonna get expensive to keep replacing big sponges. My little sponges I don't wash because I can just cut you know, the ends off and reuse them. But So I'm gonna leave this looking like this. I can see the burn marks through the edges a little bit and I kinda like it, it kinda makes it look a little bit rustic. I just went through and ran my finger around the edge just to take off the excess paint that got on the edges. 
Let me grab my towel. Even though I'm not painting on it, I'm gonna wipe my hands on it. See what I mean by pure laziness? It's literally right next to my desk and I still haven't been painting on it. There we go. And now we gotta just shift everything around again. I'm gonna move this over a second. And I'm going to maybe work on the flowers. Let's see here. Well, we gotta come up with our color for our letters. What color should we do our letters in? Maybe pink, I like pink. Pink's bright and springy. Yes, it is a fabulous idea, isn't it? I learned that, like I said, from Tamara Bennett. And I honestly don't know why I hadn't thought of it before because I use sponges for everything, but I've just used the small sponges, so. All right, I'm thinking pink for Gnome Sweet Gnome. And then we've got our flowers. So let me get our flowers together here. They come in all separate pieces too. The insides of your flowers all come out. When I first started cutting this, I was kind of annoyed by it, I'm not gonna lie. And it's probably gonna be a little bit testy when you're painting it and putting it together too, but it's gonna come out so awesome. You're gonna love it. All right, let's see here. Let's get some yellow. This is golden yellow from Anita. So I'm going to use some of that. And then I love, I'm loving this purple in my projects. It is from Anita's as well. Uh, Hy Hyacinth, I believe it's called. And then we're going to use some pink. And I absolutely love this bright magenta, which I don't know if I have enough of in here, but we're going to try it if we can. And then I think that's the colors we're going to use for our flowers. So I have got paint all over my table. It's the one thing I don't like about painting on the table. It's getting my arms in it and spreading it everywhere. Hello, Deborah. How are you today? Okay, let's do, well, first of all, let's get our paint on our palette here. Then we can figure out what we got to do next. And I just put way too much on there because it just fell right out. Okay. I'll grab some more sponges. Hopefully I'm not leaning into any paint on my shirt from the table. gigantic ones. We've got two big ones, three middle sized ones, two small ones. Okay. It's a pretty yellow. I think I'll do a second coat on it, but uh, it'll brighten it up even more, I think, but it's really pretty just with that first coat. So push that to the side. And then as soon as I'm done with these flowers, that background should have had enough time to dry. And then we'll go ahead and we'll start gluing some pieces down so that you can see the project all together. Then we'll pick one of our little kits to do or one of our, um, God, I'm glad to hear that. Um, pick one of our little attachment things to do and then we'll probably call it a day after that. All right, so then I'm gonna do these middle ones in purple. Gosh darn, my fingers are sticking to everything. Let's do this one in pink because she's got a pink one on her hat and I think it's this middle sized one. So I'm going to do this one in pink and the little ones in pink. Where did my, here we go. I think 
but he's down here just talking to himself. So I don't think they're working out yet, but I can't really tell. Hello, Diane. All right, so there's our start. And then we've got all of our insides of our pieces. So I'm gonna do pink for the yellow insides. So these will go with our yellow. And then we're gonna have yellow inside of our purple and one purple one. So let's grab our yellow. And while I'm doing the yellow ones, I'm gonna go right back into the flowers and do my second coat on those so that we're done with the yellow for now. So there we go. Am I on the camera still? Okay, making sure I'm not working off the camera since I'm working all over my table today. Um, hello, Ashley. So then we're gonna go to, I'm gonna do the yellow. I think this is dry already. So I'm gonna do the second coat of yellow on here real quick. Those are gonna be done. Our purple, I can't tell yet if it needs a second coat or not. So I'm gonna let that sit a minute. And then we're gonna have purple for all the rest of our flower middles. Okay. I think I am. I, I'm starting to see the burn marks a little bit on the edges. So I'm gonna do a second coat on the flowers. I don't know that the middles then will need them because they're pretty small, but we'll see. Really did brighten this up too. I'm glad I decided on a second coat. All right, so there you go. We've got all of this. So now I need to make sure my fingers are dry of colorful paint so I don't get it all over my background. I'm gonna move this out of the way and this stuff as best I can out of the way. Okay, so here's our board again. We're gonna go ahead and glue down our gnome so that we can start working around the rest of it. So she's got her little feet. I'm gonna lay her out first, make sure she fits right where I want her to, and then I'll glue her down. So probably right about here. Yep, that should be perfect. So I'm just gonna start with her feet, glue down one piece at a time. Cause I find if I take it off and think that I've got it where I want it and then decide to go back and glue it down, it never, never ends up exactly where I wanted it to lay, so. might look like I put a ton of glue on there, but there's really not very much glue on there at all. It's very, very thin little coat. Oops, I shifted her a little on accident. Let's see if we can move her back. I think she's good. Perfect. All right, and then her hair will go on next. Now remember, she's got interchangeable pieces, so if you want her to be permanent with one of the sets, that's absolutely fine. You could glue them down once you're done painting them, um, but otherwise you're not gonna wanna glue the sets. You're just gluing the hair and the background, the letters, those things. The rest of it you would want to do with either magnetic. I've seen people use magnetic pieces. I've never done magnetic. I use Velcro on my interchangeables um, so that you can change them out. And then her little nose. 
I don't like having that line right there. So even though her nose could come down a little, I'm gonna put it a little bit over the line so it's over her hat just a bit. And then I'm gonna give her her little bows and her hair. And the flowers that we just painted should be dry so we can actually go ahead and stick those down too. So there she is. Oh no, look at I just stuck my hand in a bunch of wet paint. <sighs> Got a Kleenex right here. All right, so her flowers then are gonna get put on here like this. And then she's gonna have a flower up on her hat. So again, I just kind of like lay them down, space them right where I want them before I start gluing. Because if I do one at a time, they might not end up glued exactly how I want them to look. You can do it that way, but I like to eyeball it first to kind of see how it's going to turn out. Thank you. I thought she was a fun one. I love gnomes. Gnomes. Well, gnomes are good for every season, but I thought she was a good one for spring. She's nice and bright. She doesn't have like interchangeables for Christmas or anything like that, but she's a good one for just all of your spring, summer season to have on your door and you can change out her little pieces. <laughs> thought I was gonna drop it on my leg. All right, so there we go. Let's get her little hat one on here. So we just gotta do her flower centers. I'm gonna just put a little dot in each spot here. Sometimes you gotta push your pieces in there. I feel like that one might have gone to the other piece over there. Sometimes they just cut slightly different, but you'll never notice it from a distance. This one's just not gonna push all the way in. I feel like this one should have gone on this side. But again, no big deal. So there we go. And now we're gonna go ahead and paint her words. So gnome sweet gnome. And I am gonna do those in the pink color. And I always like to lay those out too to make sure that I'm not painting the back side or anything like that. And oh, G N O M E S W E E T. And I think I have her O's right. Yes. Okay do these in our pink color and then we'll put those on there. Deborah loves gnomes too. Aren't they so fun? I think they're just adorable. I don't think you can go wrong with gnomes. Gnomes and like cows and the trucks. Those are my three. If I could only cut or paint three things for the rest of my life, gnomes, cows, and the um, old fashioned trucks. I'd be good with those. You guys will, you guys probably can tell that because you see a lot of it on my website. But I've been doing pretty good, so I mean, you guys must like the same things, right? I love this pink, it's so bright.
Hi, Tina. How are you? The table's gonna start looking really fun here pretty soon with all these colors all over it. I like all the colors. I just don't like getting my hand in stuff or dragging, especially when I'm using something white and then you put it into some wet pink or blue or black or whatever you got sitting on your table. I don't like that, but I don't mind the table looking like this. It's kind of fun. Do you still do cutouts for the ladder? I actually don't have any cutouts for that right now. Um, I don't even think I have the ladders on here anymore. I'll have to go back through and see if I still have those files. When I switched to websites, um, I lost some of that stuff. So I'll have to see if it's still available, Pamela. All right, let's see here. So now I'm gonna glue right onto the board instead of the letters to try to save my fingers a little bit. And I just put the glue where the thick parts of the words are, not every spot. Because usually there's like a thick side. And they are, um, the letters are etched into the board so you know right where to put them. You don't have to worry about centering them perfect or anything like that. You just want to make sure you center your gnome right. She's not laser etched into the board, but even if she's a little off, she'll be fine. Well, I think this is upside down. Hold on, I think this goes this way. There we go. I'm just loving all of the bright spring fun colors. And then we're not even to spring or summer yet, and you know what what the next season will be all over the place, but it'll be a little bit still, but fall colors, those will be next. That's my next favorite. I got a little ways to go for that though. But fall crafting is always super fun. that one around a little bit. Okay. So here's your base. Gnome Sweet Gnome. This is going to be your hanger. Like this would be my all the time hanger. Okay. And then you got the interchangeable pieces. So let's figure out what piece we want to paint live tonight. We've got a cute little flower pot. Got one that says, hello, a cup of coffee. I think I wanna paint this one. It's got a cute little rainbow, lemonade. There's a heart and then there's some tulips. So I think one of these three, but I really think I wanna do this. Um, I think that's the one we're gonna do. Maybe we'll do another one, but we're gonna start with this one. So let me see. Let me get this out of the way here. Um, I'm going to paint my cloud and my white one go. I'm going to do white for my background and then I'm going to add in some blue, I think, but it's going to mostly be a white cloud behind the rainbow. try just a little bit of the blue that we already why did I dip it I dipped my white one in there I didn't mean to do that so 
See what I did there though? I just kind of like, it's popping up off of here, it's sticking. Kind of like ombre it up. So I put just a tad bit of that light blue on there and then just kind of blended it into my white. They are so springy, aren't they? I love them. I've been obsessed with these these four colors, really, the, all of those. The blue, the purple, I point to the purple. The purple, the green, the blue, and the pink. I love those ones together. Even that yellow is really pretty with it. Um, let me grab a brush. And I'm going to do some of my black for... Or wait a minute, her hands should match her nose, shouldn't they? Oh, golly gee. These ones are all black in the example, though. Let's go ahead. I'm copying the example for the hands, I guess. And the brush I grabbed is way too big. I don't want to get that close and mess it up, so let me find a smaller brush. I got this cute little cow from them from Vegas. So he's sitting in my paintbrush dish and that's why I grabbed what I grabbed because he was kind of blocking the rest of them. And the rest of them are all gross anyways. All right, I'm gonna maybe try with my sponge just to get up close there and not go over into my rainbow. Or my cloud, I mean, I don't have a rainbow yet. It just took some patience, but I did it with the sponge. And I got a paint booger on here, a little, big old glob of black paint. Move that back out. There we go. So that's our background. And then we're gonna have, let's see. Let's do all of our colors. So let's do a pink, rainbow. And then let's do a yellow rainbow. So pink, yellow, and then let's do blue. And do a purple heart. This is a super thin piece, dries super quick. So I just kind of did a second coat right at the same time as I walked around it and let it dry. If you notice what I did there, I just kind of moved along and moved back right at the same time instead of walking away from that piece and then redoing it for a second coat. Same thing I just did here. I did the first coat, dipped back into the paint, did a second coat. It's just a small enough piece that sometimes it works fine that way. So I'm going to go ahead and glue these pieces down. Again, I like to kind of lay them out. I think that I want them to kind of you know, see the white behind them. Yeah. time are we at 640 so I am gonna be done after this once I told Preston I'd be able to play a game around this time so I'm not gonna do another piece tonight but maybe I can come back on life we'll see how long I have the baby tomorrow if I have any energy left when he goes home and then otherwise maybe Wednesday I can pop on live and we can paint some of the other ones together now remember 
I'm not gluing this piece down unless I want it to be permanent, which I might on mine. I actually really like this piece. But I would use Velcro, and I would just stick a piece of Velcro. I figure out right where I want her hands to go. She's going to kind of, I don't know, hold this lopsided, I guess, because she doesn't really fit. She could hold it down here. She could hold it right here. That looks fine. So right there. So I would stick my Velcro piece right here on her, and then you just would find a spot for it to fit on the back side of your other pieces, your interchangeable pieces, so that you can change that out. But isn't she adorable? Let's just give her a few little details. And then we're gonna call it quits. Let me find a little brush. to come up here and just kind of outline her hat a little bit. I'll probably leave that just how it is. Maybe a little bit right here. I always like to give their nose a little bit of a highlight. So we're going to give her nose a highlight. I usually do right across the top part. And then... Let's see what else we want to do. We can do our feet. We can do some on our flowers if we want to, which I don't know yet. I'm kind of debating it. Hold on. Probably do a little bit along the bottom of her dress here. And I usually just swipe it until it starts to, like my brush starts to dry out like that. And then I just leave it. I don't worry about it being perfect. Yes, the bows. Uh, let's see here. Let's do. I don't want to ruin them. I don't know if I like it or not. I think it looks all right now that I've messed with it a little bit. I'm going to give her a little bit of a, um, some detail on her heart over here, maybe. Let's see. Well, let's get her hands. No, let's not get her hands. I kind of want to do some on the heart, but I don't know what to do on the heart either. Let's go right up here. I forgot. I don't have it glued down, so it moved on me and kind of messed up what I was thinking, but that's okay. You can also do some little dots. There were three little dots on her heart there. Um, I think I will do a little bit on some of these flowers. So the flowers... We'll just kind of go wherever, wherever they land, I guess. Starting to run out of my paint here. She's looking like so far. I'm going to kind of mimic on the opposite side what I did on the flowers over here. Uh, might have to squeeze a little bit more white paint out too. I'm kind of running out. But I'm going to kind of do it opposite, I think. So I did the, uh, out, the highlights on this side over here. I think I'm going to do them on this side over here. So we've got three. Got a little one on this side. And we got some around the top. I mean, you can do them however you want to, but I'm just kind of scattering mine. 
One, two, three, four, a little bit on there. Okay, now I think, I think I'm happy with how she looks. Let's see. I think that's good. I don't think there's anything else that I want to add. Maybe I'm going to do a little bit more down here on this part of her flower. I feel like she needs a little bit more on this. Maybe not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to give her one over here and one more over here. And now I think I'm done. So here we go. There is our little gnome sweet gnome for today. Thank you, Melinda. Thank you, thank you. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. Again, this is a new kit. It is on the website. Ooh, I forgot that she's not glued. I gotta remember that. Um, it is on the website. It comes with the seven interchangeables, so this is just one of them. But we'll meet live either tomorrow night or Wednesday. Sometime later this week, and we'll work on the rest of the interchangeables. All right, everybody. Have a good night.